clarification, Mr. President. And I was simply seeking clarification and more information on an issue. You would have thought I would have asked for the keys to the kingdom by the way this administration responded. So here we have a senior senator from a county that has been burned twice by tax credits going to companies that have chosen to hire illegal immigrants in this country and taking jobs away from my constituents. So I stand up on this floor to represent the interests of my district and return I get threats from the governor. Within 15 minutes of my request for more information, my county official gets called and told to have me sit down or St. Charles County is going to be punished. They will make an example out of this senator. We have the governor's representatives coming out on the floor and saying, the only reason we're standing up is because Ms. Martinez is a female. But yet we have already approved numerous females on this floor. Well, Governor, I am not scared of your threats. I am not afraid of your attempts to intimidate me. You can threaten me all you want, and you can take my community directory, and you can call every single elected official in my county, and you can go ahead and make your threats. Let's see how far that gets you. I will not shirk my duties as a senator of Missouri, and I will not abdicate my duty to protect the interests of my constituents because you are angry and you are not getting what you want fast enough. So what is next, Governor? This is a gubernatorial appointment. What's going to happen when we have some really contentious issues come before this floor and someone stands up to challenge your opinion? Do you have your goon squad on speed dial, Governor? Are you ready for when we have other issues that we disagree? You know, you may think you can intimidate me because you're the governor, but you are wrong. I am standing here on principle, and I am standing here on belief for the basic fundamental right that my constituents believe that Missouri jobs are for Missouri families and not for those that are here illegally in this country. And I am willing to stand up to you, and I will do it again, and I will do it again, and I will do it again because it's a matter of beliefs and principle. And I will do this to protect the area and the citizens that I represent. And I shudder to think what would be happening right now on this Senate floor if this was the old Senate. And a governor tried to strong arm a member of the old Senate like a Dick Webster or someone like that. What would be going on? What would we be hearing? You know, Governor, your actions are the same as your former counterpart in Illinois. The people of the United States were disgusted to learn of the mafia-type tactics used by Bogoyevich. You have shown your colors on this issue. We have learned that no matter how big or how small, if you don't get what you want and you don't get it fast enough, you will threaten those that oppose you rather than work with them to find common ground. Governor, the Illinois Senate was not afraid of Blagojevich. And I am telling you right now that the Missouri Senate is not scared of you. 